Hi guys, it's Christina here. So I just wanted to film this quick intro because my camera is dying after this long ass video. Um, I basically have used these extensions and I did a Getting Ready With Me video. If you guys like to check out Ready With Me videos, then I will continue to do them. But since I didn't really have much to say in this video, please comment down below for my next one. So if I do have a next one, it'll be pretty awesome. Um, so basically, um, these hair extensions I just want to talk about real fast are um, what helped me achieve this body and volume here as you can see has like this gorgeous light brown ombre which is super appropriate and natural if you don't want to go too drastic with some you know blonder kind of ombres so these are 22 inches these are from VP fashion number two color is on the top and the number four is on the bottom all the information will be down below hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below anything else I can talk about for my next chit chat get ready with me video love you guys so much and mwah! So first I sprayed my Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray and this is basically one for beachy type hair. I know my face looks really oily, that's because I have to moisturize my face because it's so dry. Anyway, um, this is really for hair that you want to be more textured. Personally, it looks like a mess right now just because I blow dried it and thrown it up in a ponytail. But this is going to be really nice when I curl my hair. Or I hate starting out with primers because personally, the only one that, um, the only primer that really works for me is the Tarte flawless one but I don't know where that is so I'm just not gonna use primer and primers like silicone based primers like Benefit Pore Professional or the Poreless from Tarte just isn't my thing it doesn't help me at all so I don't know it makes my foundation and stuff look patchy and dry even though my skin is nice and clean and clear and not dry so first thing here is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer this is an NC42 um, I don't know, I just got this shade because I thought it looked like it, I, I needed it. So I'm just applying that, ooh, too much, oh well. I'm just going to be applying this underneath my eyes. Ooh, I put too, way too much on this eye. Right, let's put it around anywhere, I really don't care. <laughs> this is probably the worst video ever. Okay, and then taking my damp beauty blender and then blending this into my skin. Because, I don't know. I love this beauty blender soup. Ooh, this is too wet. Um, I love this beauty blender so much because it makes your foundation and whatever you have you're applying um, look super natural. And it helps um, have... Ugh. Why is it, this lighting seriously looks so bad? Like, the background looks so dark. I don't even know what I'm saying. Whatever. But still, I don't like this. Nope. Mm-mm. Not my thing. Oh. Hey, girl. Hey. Okay, so um, I'm basically doing this. So lately, a lot of you guys have been saying I've been doing pro too many product reviews, and I have to admit, like, I have been getting products to review for you guys, but I have turned down companies that, like, you know, the products are just crap, and I won't mention them. I will not tell you. If you guys ask me a question about a company and a product, I will honestly tell you guys about it, but... Um, I've come to realize, like, not everyone, even including me, has money to just waste on products that they were told was good. So I would not want to put you guys in a situation where you're going to be spending money on something that I think is crap, but I'm not telling you just so I get, I don't know, more pro Like, it doesn't make any sense, you know, for me to do that. To, well, I mean, some people would, but I personally wouldn't because um, it's kind of messed up in my book. So next thing here is my Makeup Forever HD Foundation. This one is in N155. And this is my second bottle. I just ran out of my first bottle from last year. I know it lasted like a year. It's probably not that sanitary, but it finally ran out. So I'm taking two pumps of that. Um, dabbing that onto my face. And forehead. And chin. Oh, look at that. I don't like that. Okay. And then the rest can go on my other half later. So now I'm just pouncing that onto my skin. This beauty blender is so damp. Oh my freaker. I just watched Pitch Perfect last last yeah, last year, <laughs> yesterday, and with my little brother. I don't know, which probably wasn't a good idea, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. And um, what's it called? It was seriously so funny. Rebel Wilson, like she's my favorite actress ever. Now here, and I have that song stuck in my head where it goes. Mm. Baby, let's talk about you and me. I don't know. I don't know why that's stuck in my head. I really don't, and it scares me. <laughs> Just kidding. It doesn't scare me. Pfft. All right, well, anyway, um, comment down below your favorite movies. I'd like to see more now that I have mono. I know it really sucks, guys. I have mono, and um, 
The thing about it is that you guys probably think like, oh my gosh, you have mono, you can't go to school, you can't be near anyone. I know Megan Rosette had mono, and that's why she started her YouTube channel, and she had more videos that she could get to, because she couldn't, like, you know, hang out and stuff. But mine's not that severe. I do have it, and it hasn't been going away. Um, but, you know, whatever. I just, at least I get to miss gym. That's, like, the best part about it. Like, I don't even have to go to gym. Well, I could participate in gym class. I just can't do anything too physical, so... I'm okay with that, you know? My top is from, um, Tommy Hilfiger. Um, I'm kind of, you know, I'm not really into plaids and stuff, but my mom got it for me because I kind of lost the one I got from, um, Forever 21. I don't know where it went, so she was like, oh, I'll just get you one, and she got it. So I was like, okay, thank you. But I never really, like, aimed myself as someone who would wear, you know, like, Tommy Hilfiger plaid. Oh, snappers, this brush is wet. No. But anyway, I know I'm not really in, like a tomboy. Shout out to Tommy Hilfiger. I mean, no offense to you. I mean, I I like their things. I just wouldn't wear it um, out anywhere. <laughs> um, I just I'm not. It's not my style. But I like this shirt because it kind of seems I don't know crisp and fresh. And I think I look pretty darn good. <laughs> just kidding. I don't think it looks necessarily bad on me. So you know why not get some use out of it. Well, I can. So anyway, this is the ma Makeup Forever. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Dark because I am medium dark. I'm be filling in the first kind of like half of my brow because it kind of needs um, a little bit more direction and shape kind of-ish, maybe. I don't know. And yeah. But anyway, I keep on bouncing off of the, f the fact that I have mono. So I've known I'm not a little hoe that goes around kissing all them boys and stuff. Um, I just have mono. And I don't know how I got it. So before you guys comment, oh my gosh, girl, you have mono? Well, yeah, I do. Um, so I don't know. It just makes me... So if I seem like sadder or not myself in recent videos like you guys have been commenting well a couple of, a couple of you guys not all of you oopsie um then that's kind of why so you'll you know you'll you you'll get it i guess you'll you can see in my recent videos like my halloween videos i haven't been myself i haven't been like you know so happy and stuff but whatever i'm just going to be setting them with this great lash by maybelline um clear mascara it's really just I don't know, clear gel. I guess you can use it as a mixing medium too, which I haven't yet. Um, but yeah. Just gonna be priming my eyelids because that's the right thing to do. I don't want people like, am I blinding you? I don't want to blind you, so I'm just gonna show you my eyeshadows. Okay. Like, I'm pretty sure you can't be blinded from just looking at something while it's on a camera. Like, come on. Um, okay, so this is it. I haven't really used it yet except for the black. But let's see what we can do. Here we're taking this eyeshadow brush. This is not, um, this one is just one I got from iMats last year. And we're gonna be taking this shimmery shade Venus on. You know what? Let's let's go for it. Let's go for the lids. See how this will turn out. Oh god. Oh good. Oh good. Oh my Larry. Oh, that's pretty, pretty, pretty shiny, pretty sparkly. I think. Wow, this is my life, guys. You guys are probably gonna hate this chit chat. Get ready with me. It really sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, I know. I know it does. That's the problem. I know it does, and I won't even stop. Like, no, no. So now I'm gonna take Naked Two, cause let's all be naked. Um, and take that shade and blend this on the outer parts of our eyes. All right. Um. What else do you guys want to know about my life? Nothing really. It's so bland. Just to get it down, to get it down, Pat. And now I'm going to take this Sigma Precision Brush, which is really what I like to use for concealing and stuff. But I want to blend this out as much as I can. Because it's annoying. It does not. You know what, whatever. Because I don't really like it. So I'm just going to start in here. That's what I always do. And then kind of build it up more in the middle. So, I don't know. Like that. And then... I bring it up. I look up to make sure that it's good because usually when you're on an angle, it kind of you can kind of mess up. And then I'm just going to bloop. Hold on, and then you just fill it in. I don't know. I think liquid liner is super easy, 
but it's very, um, like, you have to really get used to it, so... Now I'm just going to be taking this NYX brush and then faint again and bring that on my lower lash line. Just to like add like, I don't know, a little bit more depth to the bottom. I'm going in with my mascara. This is the Rocket by Maybelline. I haven't used it yet. Before I mess it up, I just want you guys to look at it like that looks really cool. Nope. Whatever. It's so much easier to grasp because the point go it goes down to a point, so it's a lot easier um, to hold for some reason. Like it's way better than holding this one because it's like eh, it's pretty blunt. But this one's very nice at an angle. I heard that this one doesn't keep a curl that well as much as its waterproof version. But I really don't care because I hate waterproof mascara. Other than oopsie. I hate waterproof mascara other than the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara's one. But, yeah, because I hate how it feels on my eyelashes. It's not a good feeling. I doubt you guys want to see another Chit Chat Get Ready with me because, honestly, I have nothing to talk about. But comment down below some things to talk about because, honestly, I kind of need that. So, yeah. I'm taking my Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer because I maybe want some bronzing done. Who even knows? I don't even know what I'm doing. Did I do that? Yeah, that looks fine. I'm taking my MAC Fleur Power Blush. This one here is in Fleur Power. Duh! Just said it. Wait, what did I want to take this week? Oh, with the same brush because, you know, I don't, I don't I'm lazy. And I'm gonna smile and I'm, actually, I don't even know. How do you apply blush? Damn, what it on the cheeks? Oopsie, no, 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 no. Does this look bad? Probably can't even see this on camera. Whatever, me just, okay. Now I'm just going to be applying my lip product, which I am super excited about. This is the new Maybelline Elixir, Lick, the Elixir. Um, this is in Mauve Mystique, which no one has actually like shown really on YouTube. I don't know why, because this is seriously a pretty color. Oh, it smells so good. I love it so much. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it feels so smooth. So freaking good. Mm. Mm. It's not sticky at all. <laughs> Do you hear me making these noises? I'm like, mm, 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 mm. And then here, if, no, you get, mm. Here you guys can see that this looks just like a nice, like, berry, warmer berry type thing, not really like a hot pink berry, and it looks like a lipstick, it's just really cool, it's like the tube, the bottom of the tube is shaped as a lipstick, so. um, like a lip, liquid lipstick, but it's not, because it has a great pigmentation of it, but not the, um, texture, if you would say, like it's, I love it, so it's very smooth, and I love it, I, lo I love it, <laughs> okay, um, I'm kind of pinked out right now, but what? Okay, I'm going to be going on to my hair. Um, right now I'm going to be applying my hair extensions because I feel like it. And here, these, oop, these today I feel like wearing are from VP Fashion Hair. These are the 22 inch ones. These are ombre. And um, I kind of like this one better than all my fall ombres that I've shown you so far. Because it looks super, like it looks even more natural. Like the brown really does like fade into like my weave. So, if you guys want to weave like this, oopsie, so much oops, then just, um, you know, look down below. I always have it down below. I, personally, like, I feel like they're more sturdy. They're better quality than the rest of the extensions I've reviewed for you guys, which you can check out around, somewhere on my channel. Hi, guys. So, I basically finished doing my hair. Here I have these extensions in. As you guys can see, they're very natural looking. They added a gorgeous, lighter brown, honey kind of typed. Um, color so as you guys can see here they blended super well um, I'm not surprised because I've used VP fashion hair extensions a billion times so it helps create this body and volume and gorgeous color and length even though my hair is pretty long these are actually 22 inches I believe if you guys want a hair tutorial definitely thumbs up this video and then comment down below if you guys want to actually be entered to be a lucky girl to have a lucky girl coupon for VP fashion I will have it down below 
And once you purchase and you use the Lucky Girl code down below, then you will be able to be entered. One winner for the first month of November and then one for December will be winning either their money back for the purchase of their extensions from that day, from the, for their last purchase that entered them in, or they'll be getting sent a free pair of hair extensions, which I think is really cool, really cool. Five VP Fashion Lucky Girls for each month can get $15 discount for their next order, and that code will be available for three months. Sorry, I'm stuttering. I just kind of don't don't know what, what am I doing. Um, but yeah, so you guys can win awesome extensions and stuff like that. That'll be really cool. Links down below, and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I cannot wait for IMATS in April. I know it sounds weird. It's gonna come up in April, but I'm kind of excited because, because, I don't know. It's April. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so weird. I'm so sorry to put you through watching this video. My fault, my bad. Anyway, <laughs> love you guys so much. Mwah.